I'm Patrick Heff, I lead ExxonMobil's lithium business, and I'm really excited to be here in Binghamton, New York, to meet Nobel Laureate Professor Stanley Whittingham to talk about his involvement in the development of the lithium-ion battery and how ExxonMobil is going to help shape its future. Hey, Dr. Whittingham. Pleasure to meet you. Good meeting you. Yeah. And welcome to Binghamton. Thank you. Good. This is the lab. Yes. This is where all the action is. It's great but to have your name on the building. It doesn't hurt, right? Yes. Thanks for hosting us here today. It's been really exciting so far. Maybe to start with, can you tell me a little bit about you know, your experience over the last 50 years, how the technology has evolved? Electric vehicles were a hot item in the 70s. So we were trying to develop advanced batteries that could go in electric vehicles and lithium was the obvious answer. It was the lightest weight element, the highest voltage. So we started a little bench experiment and then Exxon bought us glove boxes, x-ray machines and we started making real batteries in the lab. So are we entering a new lithium era? I think there's no question that, that we are. The tipping point has occurred on EVs. They're selling more and more each year. There's no going back at this point. Those are all going to be lithium-based batteries. There's no other system that can give you the same energy. Certainly. The method you're using seems very similar to oil wells. You, you can pump the stuff out and yeah. move it to where you want to go and then leave afterwards and no one will know you've ever been there. Exactly. And then the back end, what you get is something like this. So what we have here is battery-grade lithium carbonate that's been right. produced from some ExxonMobil brine that we, that, that we have producing already today. Uh, so I wanted to bring it here today and show you and okay. uh, take a look. It's, uh, it's nice and white and clean. Just need a few hundred tons of it. Yes, a few thousand tons. Right. Yeah. No, it's great to see a large corporation like Exxon doing this, getting back in the business, but also you have the resources to make sure it happens. We hope so. It must have been an amazing time for your family to, to kind of see your life's work recognised. The whole family, all the family went to Stockholm. They were planned so the seven or eight year old gets dressed up in his, we can call it penguin suit as well, <laughs> go to the banquet and so they were extremely excited. What's your message for the next generation of researchers that are just graduating today from Binghamton or other places around the world? Do something that excites you and be willing to take risks, don't be conservative. That's a great message. It's an honour uh, to be here with you. To meet you today has it, been a real privilege for me. And Thank you very much. It's exciting to see Exxon getting back in the business because anybody can make it work, Exxon can. <laughs>